So of course there are lots of ways to cool down the interior of your Tesla Model Y, but in this video I'm going to talk about the Model Y uh, OEM Sunshade, which you can purchase off their website. And we're going to go through how to install it, which is fairly easy, but there is a tip you do need to people. But before that, uh, if you guys are looking to purchase a Tesla product, you can use my referral code to get money and credits and other goodies off of your product. So let's go to the video. All right, so here is my Model Y sunroof as in the original stock form. I just noticed that in the summer it gets pretty hot and I didn't want to do anything uh, permanent such as tinting. So I decided to go and purchase the original sunshade. And uh, for me, I kind of like Tesla original products. Um, there are a ton of other sunshade products on the market, but for me, uh, I wanted to go with the original. So here's the package. Uh, open it up. Got the sunshade. And it comes with clips. All right, and uh, here are a couple more more clips. They're fairly easy to install. Okay, first take a look at the sunscreen. So you just kind of open it up like that. It's a little bit wrinkled when it comes, which is expected, but it'll go away later. And here is the Tesla logo because you bought the original product i kind of like that all right to put it in you're gonna have to open your 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 back hatch and then slide it in from the back like this all right and then just bring it up to the front here all right so what you could do is snap on the clips they just kind of go in at a 45 degree angle and then you push it up and I'll, and I'll kind of snap into place. All right, so I'm just gonna put around three or four on each side. And what it's gonna do is you just kind of slide it, wedge it in between the glass and the headliner. Pretty easy. And then halfway through, I did notice that um, once you do one side, the other side pops, like falls down. So, the tip is you're gonna need two people to help you with this install. And here we have my friend. Yeah. I'll do that right. Uh, doing one side, and I'm doing oh, the other side. This side. All right, so we can just just pop it into okay. place. Good. This side, good. And then making sure that uh, anywhere there's a bit of a sag um, or a gap, that's where you're gonna add the extra clip. And here we are with the final result with the sunshade installed you can see that it's already doing its job here are the clips right there isn't much or any gap between the shade and the headliner so some people complain that there's a bit of a drop in the middle of the sunshade but honestly it doesn't really matter because the mesh is so transparent that when you look at it it feels like you're just looking right out the glass and you don't even notice the mesh there. So I'm not really sure why people complain about it. Um, it doesn't bother me at all. Uh, it I only heard of this, you know, through the forums, but honestly, if you look at here, it's not an issue. All right, so after using the sunshade for a couple months now, uh, I can say that it does do the job of keeping uh, everybody in the car nice and cool. Uh, on the Tesla website, it does say it blocks 66% of the light coming through and you can definitely notice that. Um, the In terms of, I guess, the quality and the build and the clips, um, I can also say it's never fallen off of uh, from the roof, right? Um, that's one of my concerns when getting the sunroof and I know those clips. Uh, you yeah, have to drive a couple months it's never like it hasn't even shifted at all it's never fallen off so that's just uh, something to note and another thing is that um, some people some people think that you know the sunshade is going to keep the interior of the Tesla nice and cool while you're parked uh, that just isn't the case and that's not what it's really designed for um, the way a greenhouse works you know 
it just, the interior of the car will always be just super hot. Um, but the main point of this is that, you know, once your air con, your HVAC system is on, it can maintain that temperature uh, just a bit easier just because you have the sunshade and uh, that's pretty much, much what it's for. All right, so overall, if you guys are looking for a sunshade uh, in your Tesla Model Y and want to purchase a OEM uh, Tesla product, then I recommend going with the sunshade. Uh, you're not gonna be disappointed. It does the job of keeping the interior cool. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it informative and uh, I'll see you in the next one.